Hello everyone, let's take a look at the new Google app for Windows 11, which challenges the PowerToys command pad feature. So if you have PowerToys installed on your computer, you also know that you can access command palette, which is a feature that allows you to search and find your applications. And you can also use it to search for files among other things. Now, Google is launching a preview of its own launcher for Windows that works in a similar way. The Google app is experimental and you can get it from the Labs website using this link. And while you're signing in with your Google account, you have to turn on this toggle switch to make the option available. Then we just need to download the app. And the installation is similar to installing the Chrome browser. So we just double click this and the application will install directly on your computer. Then you will be asked to sign in with your Google account. And then you will have to give the app permissions to search for your local files and also your Google Drive. So if you don't use Google Drive, you can always turn these off and then just click the accept and continue button. And we also get a quick tutorial on how to use this application. Now we're logged in and have the Google app running on Windows 11. Now, when the launcher is running on your computer, you will see an icon on the system tray and you can invoke the Google Launcher by using the Alt Space Keyboard Shortcut. And from here, you can search for files, launch applications, and use Google Search, and you can even get AI answers. So just for a quick demo, I'm going to type Word. And as you can see, the top result is just to run the Microsoft Word application. And we also see results for files matching that keyword. And we also get some web searches suggestions. So if we click here, we can launch Microsoft Word. Now, the launcher works just like when using Google on a web browser. From here, you can ask anything you want. For example, at what temperature water boils, and then you will get the result right there. But you can also click on the search suggestion, and that will take you to an actual web result page, but without leaving the experience or taking you to the web browser. Now, one thing I noticed when using this application is that if you use a cloud storage application such as OneDrive, Google is going to try to look into those files. And if the keyword matches one of the files that is uploaded to the cloud, then the app is going to try to pull it down. So you will see a notification on the bottom right that is letting you know that a third party app is downloading from your OneDrive account. Let's say if I type Excel, you can see right here that it triggered the download. So that's something to keep in mind because a lot of the files that are already in the cloud will download in your computer to be available offline. Now, another feature that is included with the Google app is Google Lens. And basically it allows you to perform an image search, but by selecting anything on the screen. So to use this feature, you just need to click this button and then from whatever you have on the screen, you can select it and then it will perform an image search. From here, you can also perform different actions such as translation, you can copy the text and you can also copy the image, which if you think about it, it's just a little bit like the click to do feature available on Windows 11 for the Copilot Plus PCs. However, you don't need an AI computer in order to use this feature. Now, also, if you are into the AI answers, you can also access AI mode from Google. And from here, you can interact with that experience. Now, you can always access the settings from here, but that's not a lot you can do. You can sign in and sign out from your Google account. You can change the app theme from the light mode to the dark mode. And on configurations, you can change the keyboard shortcut and you can also set AI mode as the default when searching with the Google app. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that the app is still a little bit buggy. So if I click outside, the menu will not go away. So you have to like click right here to dismiss it. Sometimes you won't be able to dismiss a preview for a search. Let's say if I type what's the time in Tokyo, you see, if you try to like click, it won't dismiss the preview. Sometimes you can click this button and that will go away, but sometimes the result would just stay even if you clicked the close button. But the application is still in the experimental stages, so bugs are expected. Also, the launcher will always stay on the screen. You can move it around, but it won't disappear. If you click outside or anywhere, even if you open 
another application, it will stay in the background. But you can always click on the prompt box and then just press the escape key and that should dismiss it. One thing that I forgot to mention is that when you're in the experience, if you open the settings menu from here, you can restrict the app to search your files or your Google Drive files. And that's it. That was a first look at the Google app for Windows 11 that allows you to technically replace the start menu with a new launcher that helps you to find and open your apps, files, and you can also answer questions and search the web from one single interface without even having to open the web browser. Let me know in the comments what you think about this app. If you're going to be using it, like the video, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.